So you want to check if all the connections are uh, made on the PCB, all the small components, if there are solder between both connections uh, of the component and the PCB. I already checked it before uh, assembling the kit, but it's good to double check our, uh, everything. Also measure it with a multimeter. We are measuring the fuse. There should be a beep with the fuse. The rest there, there shouldn't be a beep. So if there's, uh, yeah, so here, here there is also a beep. But um, uh, it's good for the small components like these to measure if there's no solder underneath them connecting. And here I'm checking for uh, if there is a connection between uh, the power of the, the chip there. And, uh, I'm adding some um, some uh, male header header pins for uh, for the Arduino Pro. And I add some female uh, header headers over those pins, so I can solder the Arduino to this um, connection. It's not so easy to get on, but it's, it takes a while, but then, then it'll work. Now you want to solder it straight, so it doesn't. Uh, it's not on some kind of angle. It helps to pull, hold it down with your finger, and then uh, tag it in one place or a few places. And then also tag it on the other side. Make sure it's straight there as well. Just double check it. And then just finish soldering all the pins on, uh, on both sides. This is a pin for the power. Uh, you were, you're not you're probably not gonna use it. It's uh, the center is the uh, is the there's a power connection, the, both outside pins are ground. Uh, this is a 10k uh, a terminal pot. It says 103 on the on the pot, and you know it's uh, 10k. This is a black, the black small uh, capacitor goes in there. Make sure the polarity is uh, correct with a minus uh, sign is on the PCB. This is a 470k resistor. Goes into this uh, position over there. These are two factorials. I marked one with a red stripe, so you know which one is which. The short leg, that's uh, and the long leg. So the short leg, uh, the, so you know that that this part is the LED. And the, all the uh, the other two legs, they are more uh, the same length, and there's also a bigger bump on it. So you know which one side is which. Goes in like this, like sh uh, you can check if it fits, and then bend the legs. Here I'm checking the length, so I know where to bend it. And for LED, it's a short lag in round hole. So short lag round hole, short lag round hole. If you do this wrong, and you have to desolder it, it's most likely that it will break.
is the this is a stereo audio jack. You need to extend the ground uh, leg there, flap, and yeah, you can use it uh, apart from the metal part you cut off the resistor. Stick it into this uh, tiny hole there. It needs needs the ground. This is a uh, 20k resistor or potentiometer. It's a very small potentiometer. But there's some kind of sticky goo over it. I don't know why it's there, but it's good to clean it off before you insert it. There's a, a header in some place, and this, if you cut this part off, it 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 doesn't uh, interfere with this. Um, doesn't go against this header pin, so it can be nice and straight. You want to cut off these flaps. They are, uh, if you leave them on, it uh, can break the potentiometer. Uh, you can also bend those. And it says 103 and 203. 103 is 10k, 203 is 20k. So the 10k goes in there, and the other hole that's left over there, that's where the 20k goes. So short leg round hole, short leg round hole, short leg round hole for the green one as well. This uh, switch also has polarity because there's an LED inside. The polarity is marked with a flat side. But uh, it's also on the PCB, there's a line there for the flap for the, where the flat side is. So make sure it's inserted correctly. Take off this uh, nut. Yeah, this is a 220 UF capacitor. The uh, minus is in the square hole there, like this. Now we're just going to put on the front panel. It goes quite smoothly here, but it can take uh, a bit of time with all those components. Rotate this potentiometer to the left. Make sure the top panel is aligned with the bottom panel. Sometimes this power jack is uh, rotated a bit because of the tightening, so you can make sure it's straight. Yeah, check both sides. So now here I'm tagging down some uh, some of the the 3.5 millimeter jacks with a ground connection to the PCB because I've checked it that everything is uh, aligned and um, so now I'm just uh, making sure it doesn't move anymore. Double check it and you can see you need to hold this uh, potentiometer up when you solder it because it doesn't snap into the PCB or anything. Also, this switch also 
it can fall out and then if it rotates it might be getting in the wrong way so make sure it stays in the correct position make sure the LED is uh, through the hole for the LED when you solder it This is the ground connection for the stereo jack. The holes are um, all the the holes for the PCB and the, for the connectors. They are quite big, so it's good. But it's good to fill them with uh, hopefully with uh, with solder because. Uh, when we're done we're gonna also clean the PCB and then you don't want the cleaning solution to go to the other side of the PCB and to get into the to a, a potentiometer for instance because that would uh, destroy the potentiometer. It switches also. So now I'm just checking if there's no holes that this, the cleaning fluid can go through and if I didn't, didn't miss any soldering points I use a uh, thinner to clean the PCB that's probably a better solution but I don't know them After you clean, to make sure those connections for the headers are clean because there's uh, parts going to slide over it. So now the next step is uh, adding these uh, diodes. You have to bend the legs and cut them to the correct height before sliding them into the PCB. Make sure the polarity is correct. So there's a line there, there's also a line on the PCB. So yeah, that was wrong. Like, should be like this. Two of these diodes. When you solder them, it's good to check if the solder goes all the way through to the other side. Shouldn't be difficult. Make sure to check if there's no connection be between the, the jack and the diode. I haven't, I haven't had this had this happen. It's best to just check any, anyway. So there's another Vactrol. This one that's left over. It should go in like this, so you can see where the short leg uh, round hole situation. Short leg round hole. Make sure you bend it uh, correctly and so it can slide in easily and then cut off the pins before sliding them in be careful with uh, soldering this part because it's sensitive to heat don't push on it or anything like that when you're uh, soldering This is uh, it says 102 on the small uh, thermopod. That says 1K. Goes into this position. So for all these last parts, I use uh, no clean solder, so you don't have to clean it. And yeah, so you don't want to clean this uh, after you soldered it because uh, it's all very close to all to the switch.
So you can see the polarity that I'm do doing here, the polarity of the power socket. I use this clamp. It um, works very well with it. I don't know exactly uh, oh, another way to do it. I always put in these um, these things, but it also should also stay together without them. I think. Now I'm going to check for short circuits, so it doesn't appear to be any. Checking like this, and then after the these uh, rectifier diodes, also check the power cable. 